Praise the Lord and welcome to my prayer closet. I'm so happy that you clicked the link for today's prayer. Welcome back to my sisterhood, my prayer faith family. I love y'all. I'm grateful for y'all. And do not forget, you can let the prayers play by hitting playlist and uh, playing the prayers throughout the day. Or you can choose a category. All righty. Now, if you are new Welcome um, on this channel. We pray, we study God's word, and we provide tips to help you live your life victoriously. Um, if you need um, uh, any of those things, please become a part of our family. God is on the move and he is uh, doing a lot on this channel. So join us. Now, today we are going to be praying a prayer for your, your young daughters, okay? And that is your little girls, your teenage girls, your young adult daughters in particular. Uh, God has this on my spirit so, so heavy, y'all, so strong the last couple of days. And he wants me to zero in on her self-esteem. He wants me to zero in on your daughter's self-worth, okay? That's your your daughter's self-value. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. I can, I just sense it by the Spirit so strong this morning. And so, um, I, you know, the last few days he's been... Um, Reminding me of different scenarios regarding um, young girls. Um, I have a, a nine-year-old daughter who will be 10 very soon, double digits, and she's still kind of in that innocent age. But I pray over her, honey, like, you know, like with fire every day. Amen. Uh, but the Lord reminded me, for those don't that don't know, uh, my day job is I'm an adjunct college professor. And I remember um, I was teaching a dual enrollment class, two different occasions, one in one city and one in another city in my metro area. And I was in the actual school teaching these dual enrollment students. Dual enrollment, for those who do not know, that is when high school students take college classes. And so I was actually going to this particular high school and I had about 10 uh, students that were honor students in their senior year. Well, one of the girls in the class was being bullied by the other girls. She didn't have the look as the other girls. She wasn't, uh, she didn't have long hair or long weave and the nails and the this and that. And so she had a real short haircut and, uh, she, uh, didn't wear the clothes they wore and her parents were real quote unquote strict. And anyway, they picked on her a lot in class. Well, I shut that down. Y'all know I shut that down. I let it be known. Um, you bully, you get a zero every, for every word that comes out of your mouth, that's a zero in every area. And so I was able to nip that in the bud in my class, but I had a conversation with this young lady one day and she cried and cried and cried in my arms arms. And um, they picked on her a lot because of the way she looked. The only time they didn't pick on her, y'all, was when she would pretend to have a girlfriend on Instagram. And so they loved talking to her about her being gay. But the girl wasn't gay, y'all. I talked to her after class, but she was pretending to be gay because that's the only way they would accept her. Not that the other girls were, but it was cool for her to have a girlfriend on Instagram. Are y'all following me? And so y'all, I prayed over that girl. I hugged that girl. I was like, I don't care if they fire me because it's a state school. Honey, I'm about to lay hands on her and pray over her after class. And so I don't know what ended up happening to her because that was the end of the class. But I've been thinking about that girl. And then there was another situation where I another young lady a 12th grader at another school she cried and cried and cried after class one day because she had gotten a job at a fast food restaurant and the girls there were picking on her and bullying her and saying things to her because her skin was is dark and they were calling her names because she had dark skin and they were messing with her and she just cried and she was like professor I don't want to go back to that job and my parents don't understand and and my heart just ached and I she was so upset I had to connect her to the school counselor why do I bring all that up y'all I'm sorry but I just wanted to give you the, the a little context of what God has placed on my heart honey let me tell you something if you are not praying uh prayers of fire around your daughter then she might be in trouble 
because of the attack on girls and their sexuality and their virginity and their emotions Honey, you got to pray like there is no tomorrow. Do you hear me? And your daughters have to know who they are. You have to instill in your girls who they are and whose they are every single day. So that when the lies from their peers, the enemy, demonic influences come in, your daughters are secure Our daughters are secure. So I'm about to pray, y'all. But it's not enough for me to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray over her. And you got to tell her she's beautiful. You got to tell your daughter she's smart. You It don't matter if she got C's and D's. You tell her God created her intelligent. You got to tell her she's compassionate and she's kind and she's a leader. I tell Hannah, you are a leader every day. I tell her she's beautiful every day because y'all know what I'm talking about girls. Let me talk about boys. If your daughter uh, doesn't believe how awesome she is, then honey, she gonna spread her legs for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Y'all know I keep it real here. And she's got to know that she's a queen. She's got to know she's special. My sons have to open the door for my daughter. They, they, she's got to be treated like a queen. So that way she's not falling all crazy for some fool who going to tell her she cute. Come on, y'all. Y'all see I'm passionate. Y'all, I got to pray. Y'all, I got to pray because I hate the devil. Y'all, I hate the devil. I hate him. I hate what he's done to girls. I hate that he tells them that unless they're showing their tail on Instagram, they're not beautiful. He's a liar. We're going to pray. We're going to rescue your daughter today. The devil is a liar. Come on, y'all. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up every single mom right now who's, who is here with me. And Lord, it is no mistake that you brought them here for this prayer. For me to pray a prayer over their daughters. And I'm praying specifically for her self-esteem. Specifically for her self-worth. I pray that every single mother here would instill in her daughter how special she is in you. Equip every mother with a supernatural ability to minister to her daughter. Remind the daughters of how gifted they are. Remind the daughters of how anointed they are. Remind the daughters that they don't need validation and approval from people. Remind the daughters that they are that they are virtuous young women. We bind the attack of Satan on these daughters and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that these daughters are virtuous. That every single woman, as we declare right now, that these girls, these daughters will be virgins until their wedding night. And if their daughters have already lost their virginity, I pray against any more sexual activity in their lives from this day forward. I pray against evil demonic influences for the daughters. I pray that the daughters will never ever want to follow the crowd. Never ever want to follow promiscuous girls. Never ever want to follow sassiness. I come against that in the name of Jesus. I pray for their daughters' mouths. For their daughters' tongues. For their daughters' attitudes. I rebuke and bind any and all things that the devil has tried to sow into their daughter's spirit. I say right now that their daughters are well behaved. I say right now that their daughters are respectful. I say right now that their daughters are kind and loving and giving, compassionate, sweet girls because that's what you've called them to be. You didn't call them to be grown women and little girls' bodies. The devil is a liar. So, Father, protect these girls. Keep these girls. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, no weapon fashioned against these girls is going to prosper. And every tongue that rises against them in judgment, you'll condemn. And, Father, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 4, that you would rescue their daughters from every evil deed. And bring them safely, Lord Jesus, into your arms. Father, thank you right now. You are faithful according to your word in 2 Thessalonians. So we speak the word over these daughters. And the Bible says every word we speak, it will not 
not return void. Thank you that these daughters will be fearless. They will not go to school. They will not go away to school and be fearful girls. Thank you that they'll be righteous young women and they'll boldly declaim, proclaim it. Thank you. They will not follow social media influencers and actors and actresses that try to give them the wrong display of what womanhood is all about. Thank you, Lord, that these daughters know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Father, these girls will serve you. We come against a celebrity culture that say they have to look and behave and act a certain way. The devil is a liar. Put, put us a, a, a sweetness in their spirit to serve you. Help them to excel academically. Help them to excel emotionally. Help them to excel personally, God. Personally, God. Be with every single one of these daughters and let these mothers not be weary. Let these mothers have confidence in you and to put life into their daughters. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Ladies, do not let the world and the sluttiness of the world snatch your daughter's spirit. Do you hear me? Don't let the vile slutty culture get your girls you gotta fight ladies you gotta fight and you pray rings of fire around your daughter and anything that comes up against her is gonna get burned do you hear me gotta fight i love y'all i'll talk to y'all tomorrow bye bye